Hello and welcome. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. My name is Carly. This is my channel Sunshiny Soul and Tarot where I bring through messages from my sunshiny soul to you. This reading is for Pisces. Pisces sun, moon, rising, any strong placement of Pisces for January 16th through the 31st, 2024. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. We are building towards the full moon, which will be in Leo on the 25th. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link is below. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and Reiki. It does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. I do have a 15% discount available for you as a first time client or your very first session with me. All of that is below. All right, Pisces, I was gonna get you an overall energy and that one just popped out. So let's take it. I love it, Pisces. You've got the overall energy of the frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. I am hearing this is a message for clearing out the clutter physically, mentally, emotionally, in all areas of your life. So with the brand new year beginning, you know, we're still in the very first part of this whole new year ahead of us. So clearing out the clutter is gonna be really helpful for you in just cleansing your energy. So this can be cleaning out like the closets and the drawers in your home, maybe your desk or work area. You could be doing a cleanse or a detox for your physical body to clear out any clutter that is not needed. Uh, it could be a spiritual or a mental clutter clean out. You know, you could be meditating more, being more aware of your thoughts and your thinking and are they in alignment with what you want. So this is a really powerful message because it can be applied to literally any area of your life. So you've got the frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Let's get the other messages out here, the other cards. All right, second row is your specific person. So those of you dealing with a specific person. What do we need to know about their energy? And third and final row is clarifying messages for you. All right, cards are out, Pisces. First up, we've got King of Swords, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. So I'm actually seeing your energy here as this King of Swords energy, and you're getting really, really clear about something, um, Pisces. And as you get clear around this, it's building confidence within you to fully move forward here. So for a lot of you, I'm seeing this could do with love and romance, like you're getting clear about the type of love you want or the partner that you want. Uh, maybe you already know who that is and you're getting ready to kind of bring your energy forward to them. Um, but I do see somebody new coming into your space, okay, with this Knight of Cups here. So this is the offer of love. And again, this is a general reading. So this can be you bringing forward your, um, your cup or you can be receiving this from somebody else. But the main thing that I'm seeing here for you with these cards is you are getting very, very clear, okay? The King of Swords knows who they want as their soulmate. They know who they want as their partner. They're not wishy-washy or unclear on this. And again, there is this confidence coming through here with this chariot energy. So either the person that you're wanting to be with, they're getting clear and coming towards you, or you are getting really clear and they're and you're going towards them. But the, the Knight of Cups offer here is a solid love offer. This is someone who knows where their feelings stand. And that's really, really important. And as I'm saying this, I'm being brought back to the clear out the clutter. So if you've had any clutter in your thoughts or your beliefs around love or a partner and what that looks like, it's a really good time for you to clear that out. Anything that's not in alignment with what it is you truly want to build towards, okay? So I am seeing strong Aries energy there with that chariot, also King of Swords. We've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And then the Knight of Cups, that can be another Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio as well. 
okay? Second row is your specific person. So those of you already dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy, okay? We've got the nine of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, and the four of wands. <laughs> so I feel these cards pretty much speak for themselves, but your specific person is really getting to a place where they feel very strong and solid within themselves. I'm seeing they feel good with where they're at career-wise, um, within their own personal growth, within their finances, within their home, like they're just in a solid place. And the Wheel of Fortune is moving things forward for this um, person in regards to relationships and love, okay? So for you, that is very good news, Pisces, because your specific person, I feel, is ready to really move forward for a true commitment, marriage, um, something that is going to last, okay, and go go the distance, so to say. Um, but they really needed to get to this place on their own. And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, coming in to help kind of like move things forward. This card does bring fate and divine timing. It is the clock of the universe to me, if you've been watching my channel for a while. And the outcome here is the Four of Wands. So Pisces, this is another reason why it's important for you to clear out the clutter because you are preparing to really receive your specific person and for it to be solid um, and, and going somewhere, okay? Building towards something that can truly last. So really beautiful message there. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I've also got Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo uh, coming through for you there. All right, third and final row, clarifying messages for you. We've got the King of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Hermit card. Interesting. Okay, so this King of Wands energy, I am seeing as your energy again, Pisces. So at first you were showing me yourself as this King of Swords energy, and now the King of Wands energy. And this to me is a message that you're ready to really take action in your life with what's important. With the Page of Swords here, there is communication that is really needed from you. So uh, this Page of Swords is the messenger and there is something that you need to communicate to um, someone important in your life. This can be a family member or even in regards to work, but you taking action and communicating here, there is a bit of a spiritual lesson and growth for you. So if sometimes you just brush things aside or you, you know, uh, sweep things under the rug. There's something here, Pisces, that's coming through that you really need to address this. And when you address this, you are going to feel so much better and you're actually going to grow and kind of expand past a level that you've been at in regards to like avoiding things, I want to say. Okay. So really interesting message here, but you're ready to take action. And the, the Page of Swords is kind of the buzz in your ear. It's telling you exactly what you need to do and what action steps you need to take. And the Hermit card is here just shining the lantern into this lesson for you and into what really needs to happen. Okay, so don't ignore that. Be open to that. Clear out any clutter that may be in the way for you wanting to receive this from Spirit and um, you know, to move forward with the action. Okay. So beautiful message. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got Virgo energy here with the hermit. Um, I mentioned fire, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and then, um, other earth, possibly Capricorn and Taurus as well. And then other water. So it could be another Pisces or a Scorpio or a Cancer that you are dealing with. Okay. Let's get you another message here. Okay, you've got friendship, Pisces, which I know friendships are always very, 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 very important to you. So as you're focused here on growing this relationship and deepening this romantic connection, make sure you are still remaining in contact with your friends and those solid people around you, okay? They want to love you and they want to support you in this. So I'm seeing that as just like a friendly reminder to keep in touch with your friends as you're going through uh, whatever it is that you're going through. Because it does look like these next couple weeks, you're going to be kind of facing a lot in a good way. Okay. 
Let's get you a spirit animal message. Ooh, you've got the coyote, revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. I feel this kind of piggybacks on that chariot energy of you getting the confidence to really trust yourself and move forward in regards to something. And for that to happen, you really can't take yourself too seriously. You have to be able um, to make those decisions and to possibly fail or mess up. And the coyote spirit here is really reminding you of that as you do move forward in these big decisions and into a beautiful relationship. So you've got the coyote spirit protecting you through the end of January. I think that's all that's coming through, Pisces. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other strong placement of Pisces. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. And again, if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and uh, Reiki. So it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. You will see there is a 15% discount for you um, as your very first session or as a first time client. So you're welcome to take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to January, and I will see you guys back here on the next video. Take care.